today I'm here with a review video of four graphic novels that Raincoast Books and For a Second so graciously sent me. So without further ado, let us get started! So the first graphic novel I have, if you've seen the unboxing video, I flipped out. I was so excited because it's one of my favorite books ever, but it is Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson and the artwork was done by Emily Carroll. I ended up giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. Like I said, it's one of my favorite books, so you know, you could probably guess that I was gonna like it in graphic novel form. The book follows Melinda Sordino and she is a freshman at Meriwether High School and she's actually one of the most hated people there because after a traumatic event that happened during the summer senior party she ended up calling the cops and it got the party broken up and a lot of people in trouble but when she finally decides to speak up about what happened that night a lot of things change for her. I honestly just think this is such an important story I love it so much ever since I read it as the novel version I also think that the art style is just really great in this book. I just really liked the panels and just how the story was told. I thought it was really well done and I really liked how there was actually no color in this one. I think it really set the mood for what the book is about. But yeah, five out of five stars. I highly recommend this graphic novel or the book version because they're both great. The next graphic novel that they sent me is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang and this book follows Prince Sebastian whose parents are actually trying to arrange his marriage but Sebastian has a secret. With the help of his best friend and seamstress Francis, he actually dresses up as a woman named Lady Cristelia. So since this is a secret, Francis also has to be kept a secret and her work is not being shown the way that she wishes it could be. And that's when she needs to decide how long she can wait to make her own dreams come true. I just think that the message behind this was so great, the whole self-acceptance thing and just being who you are unapologetically. I thought it was just so well done. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend it. I thought it was so cute. I really loved Francis and Sebastian. I thought they were just so great for each other and how they helped each other grow. I think they are just so lovable and relatable. I think that the ending was so perfect. It was so well done. It was definitely my favorite part. I really loved the artwork in this and how bright the colors were. I just think that it was so well done. I also really loved the dresses that Prince Sebastian got to wear. I thought they were so pretty and like just wish I could wear them. Just saying. Except I would probably hate them because you probably couldn't move very well in them but they pretty still. But yeah overall I think that it was very cute. I think that it has a great message and I definitely recommend you pick it up if you haven't already. The next graphic novel I have is called In Real Life and this is by Cory Doctorow and also Jen Wang. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. I did enjoy it, but it was just too short in my opinion. The book follows Anda who recently started playing an online game called Course Gold. While playing, she meets a young Chinese boy named Raymond and she discovers that he's actually farming for gold. Anda is originally against this because it goes against the rules of Course Gold, but as she gets to know Raymond, she realizes that this issue is a lot more complex than she originally thought. In my opinion, I think that this was just an average graphic novel. I didn't find it to be all that memorable. I couldn't connect to any of the characters because it was so short. I did really like the art style in it and the bright colors. It's by Jen Wang, so it's very similar to The Prince and the Dressmaker, which I also loved. So I think that the best part of the novel was the art style. I think that the social issues brought up were very well done, but I think that it was so short that it's not going to have a huge impact on the reader. But overall, I do think that it was a quick, fun read, but it's just not going to be anything memorable for me. And then the last graphic novel that they sent me was The Olympians, Hermes Tales of the Trickster, and this is by George O'Connor, and this is the latest version in the Olympian series. There's actually nine other gods and goddesses that the series follows, but this is the Hermes version and it tells the story of Hermes from 
birth to adulthood. And I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I actually really love Greek mythology, so I thought it was interesting. I already knew the story, but the way that George O'Connor told it was very funny, and I did find myself giggling a lot throughout the novel. I did really like the art style as well and the bright colors again. Clearly I just really like bright colors. A really great feature of this graphic novel is that in the back it actually has biographies of the characters that you saw in the story which if you're not really familiar with Greek gods and Greek mythology it was actually really helpful to read about the characters that you were reading about. I'm definitely thinking about checking out the rest of the series just because I find it interesting but overall I thought it was a super cute version of Hermes Tale. Alright guys so that was my four mini reviews for these four graphic novels that Raincoast Books and For Second so nicely sent my way so I want to say thank you to them again. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!